Okay, so welcome inside my computer. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create your free account on Prompt ROI. So go to app.promptroi.io. If you have an account, click on login. If you do not have an account, click the sign up button. Now, here you can sign up with Google by clicking right here, or you can enter your name, email, and choose a password, which is what I'm gonna do right here. Just be sure to follow these simple rules down here for your password. We're gonna go ahead and click sign up. As you can see here, it says we've sent a six digit code to your email on file. So we're gonna go grab that code and we're gonna paste it right in this box and we're gonna hit verify. Perfect. So the first choice we're met with is what type of user we are. Um, for this, we're gonna choose I wanna sell prompts. If you are just here to purchase prompts, you would choose, I want to buy prompts. So let's go ahead and click, I want to sell prompts. Next, we can upload a photo. I'm going to choose a generic thumbnail for now. We can write a quick about us. We can choose a location and you can put your phone number in here and check the box to receive a text message from us. Click next. Now, in order to actually publish a prompt to the public marketplace or to your private marketplace and to get paid, you're going to need to have your Stripe account connected to Prompt ROI. So I'm going to go ahead and click connect. I'm going to log into my Stripe account. And of course, Stripe is going to send me a six digit code to my phone so I can verify that. And finally, it's going to ask me to select the account I want to connect. And I'm going to click this or purplish connect button. Stripe actually returns you to Prompt ROI to continue your onboarding process. Next step is to choose the super user package here on the right because you get a 14 day free trial to use the software completely before you make your final decision. So I'm gonna go ahead and click sign up. I'm gonna proceed without a coupon and I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my card information and click on the subscribe button. Prompt ROI lets me know that my credit card information uh, was successfully entered and that I've been subscribed to that plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And it's gonna continue my onboarding process. The next step is to add my domain. And so we're gonna go ahead and add the domain that I purchased for this example. If I come up here and click on DNS management, you're going to see I have video toolbox.ai. So I'm going to copy that, come back here, and I'm going to paste that in here and hit the add button. Now, before I do that, I'm going to click here for the instructions. And very simply, I'm going to copy this IP address without the last period there. I'm going to go over here to my DNS manager and most times when you first purchase a domain you're going to have a parked record here which is usually an a record if you have that you're just going to edit this record and paste in the ip address right there and click save if you don't have that a record there as a default just go ahead and create an a record put the at symbol here and then go ahead and put your ip address here so let's go back over to our onboarding let's close this window Let's go ahead and hit add. Excellent. Now it wants me to add my logo. So I have a logo that I prepared. I'm gonna go ahead and click upload logo, click into the video toolbox folder and click on my video toolbox logo. I'm gonna click add. Now here's a chance for me to add my categories. In this case, I'm gonna skip them for now and I'll add them later. In this next onboarding step, I can add my YouTube video ID my welcome video and I can go ahead and put in my color palette hex value so let me go ahead and grab both of those right now okay so I've added my YouTube video ID which is comes right out of the link I've added my color palette color and I'm gonna click add next we're gonna create a prompt now for this case what I'm going to do is I'm gonna skip this step creating a prompt is simple and we have videos inside of the application for you to see how easy it is to create a prompt what i want to do right now is skip this step and i'm going to go over to collections and i'm actually going to purchase a collection of prompts here called youtube marketing i'm using this collection here that can be purchased to illustrate how easy and quick it is to get up and running 
if you buy a collection of prompts and it might take a little longer when you create your own prompts but for this instance let's go ahead and click here uh, we can see all of these different prompts that are built into this particular collection and we have to go and purchase this collection so let's back up here let's click on purchase now we're going to go ahead and click confirm and then it's going to let us know that we were charged and now we can see that we have purchased this collection now if i go over here to prompts you're going to see there's still no prompts in my dashboard if i go back to collections and into purchase i can click inside here and now i can go in and add these prompts to my private marketplace so let's click on channel description and you'll see this is going to walk us through the steps here we can leave the title and description the way it is or you can update it we're going to click next here's where we have the prompt seo title and seo description to get found organically online if we're going to leave that we can leave that we're going to click next and this is where we're going to go ahead and choose which models do we want this particular prompt user to be able to use with this prompt so for this one i'm going to let them use any of these they want to use and so i'm going to choose all three and then we're going to click category we haven't added any categories so that's a potential issue so let's go ahead and click on settings and go over here and add categories okay so this is where we are going to go ahead and add a category for our marketplace to keep things easy let's just type in bots and these bot categories will be available for all we're going to click add category and there we have our category let's go back to collections let's click on purchased let's click into this here and go back into channel description okay we're going to pick up where we left off and we're going to go ahead and choose the models again so we'll say 3.5 gpt4 the category is bots there is no subcategory. There could be if you wanted to. And then we're just gonna say, we're gonna charge $1. We're gonna click next. Now you can see the variable names and the tool tips are all filled in for you, which is amazing. And then we're gonna click next. And this is where you can upload a video or your own video or a video ID from YouTube to show a video to explain to your user how this actual bot or prompt works. And we're gonna click next. This is where you can actually test this prompt out. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill a few variables in here while I pause the video. Now, as I'm filling these out, I just wanna show you, if you click on the I, you get the tooltip here and they can read it. Or if you just hover over it, the tooltip will pop up over the screen as well. Okay, so I've entered in a few variables. Channel theme is gardening with a bunch of answers that have to do with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and click submit to test this prompt out. It's gonna go ahead and run, and then when it's done running, the output is gonna show up here on the right-hand side. And there we go, there's our channel description. Welcome to the how-to for gardening enthusiasts, the ultimate destination for anyone who's captivated by the wonders of gardening, and it goes on to incorporate a lot of the things that I said to incorporate. So, that prompt looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish prompt, and there we go. The prompt is published and live in our private marketplace. Okay, which we're gonna take a look at in just a second. Now, if you wanna add the other prompts, go back to your purchase prompt pack here, click on it, go through the steps and add that into your private marketplace until all of these are added in. And then you have 25 prompts ready to go on videotoolbox.ai, ready to start bringing in people who can purchase access or an actual subscription to your marketplace. Let's go ahead and go over to settings Let's go white label and let's go subscribers. Okay, this is the most powerful part of this whole thing. You're able to create either super users, someone that signs up as a free user and you wanna give them access to uh, be able to run certain prompts, certain categories, certain amounts of spend, total number of runs. You have full control of that right here, okay? Over here, you have your subscribers and your subscriber powers. Now, how does that work? Well, we create a new subscription. Because we're tied to Stripe, we can give our subscription a name, we can give it a price, we can give it a total number of days that they can trial it out, um, and then we can choose what they get to use, okay? So let's just keep this simple. Let's say all you can eat. Let's say we're just doing an all you can eat plan and that's it, okay? Our all you can eat plan is $99 a month. We're gonna do a trial for seven days. And we're gonna give them access to every prompt in our store. 
We're gonna give them unlimited number of runs and we're gonna give them total spend unlimited, okay? We're gonna go ahead and click create and we're gonna confirm that subscription is now gonna get added to our Stripe account and here we go, voila. You can go live with this, you can delete it or you can archive it, okay? So there's our subscription. Now, that subscription is gonna show up inside of your marketplace when it says upgrade to all your free users uh, or it's gonna show to your free users when they actually sign up, they're gonna see the option to buy the all they can eat plan. And like we always say, 85 people paying $99 a month is $100,000 a year in recurring residual revenue. So that's exciting. Now you can create unlimited subscriptions. You can slice and dice what they get access to, the number of trial day period they have. All of that is completely up to you to decide to really make your prompt ROI private white label marketplace your own. So go in there, have fun, create a bunch of subscriptions that make sense for your business and get subscribers paying you on a residual basis.